<clears throat> Welcome back to Fire Dojo. And uh, next week we're going to do our first trial of uh, streaming. And the theme is going to be uh, Bamboo Fire Song. Okay. So what I'm going to try to do is coordinate everybody so that uh, when we begin, Everyone's going to have the correct materials and we're going to be at, be ready to go step by step through a recipe and uh, we're just going to go start to finish how I uh, get a piece of bamboo ready. First of all, select the bamboo, get it ready, and then just uh, instantly get a fire. Um, going through some uh, just a few steps all right and I want to show everyone I want I wanted to um, prove to everyone that it's very easy to do it's easier than you think the trick is is to have proper materials that's really half half of your problem solved right there if you have the proper materials all right so where are you going to get bamboo if you don't have them already. Uh, I'm going to recommend you go to your big box store, big box store and find tiki torches. These things that are made out of bamboo. Okay? Now, you can't just get any tiki torch. You're going to need to take a couple minutes to sort through them to find out which one is the one that you're actually looking for. So, rule number one, do not get one that has uh, splits in it. Stay away from bamboo that has splits that are all the way down the, the pole, okay? So, if you see splits, that's not the one for you, all right? That's one. The second thing is that uh, if, when you go to the big box store too, um, if you can, I'd like you to bring two things, or if, if you can, just one thing. Uh, one is a s short ruler, okay, because you're going to measure these uh, these bamboo poles, and you're going to check them to see that they are at least one inch in diameter, okay? If they're smaller than one inch, you don't want it, okay? So one inch in diameter. This one's bigger than an inch in diameter, okay? So no cracks, and you want it to be an inch in diameter. Okay, so that's two. The third thing you're looking for is the spaces between the nodes, okay? So here's a node, and here's a node, and you're looking for spaces between the nodes. Now I know as a body measurement, that when I spread out my thumb and my little finger, that's eight inches, okay? I know that as a body measurement. So when I, if you have your ruler, you want about eight inches between each node, okay? So, but I know that I could go to the big box store and go like this and go, that's eight inches between a node, okay? You do not, you do not want nodes that are shorter than eight inches see this i bought this bamboo pole to show you that this is what you do not want see this you do not want this do not get this okay so that's three no splits inch in diameter nodes at about eight inches apart or more okay now the fourth thing is the diameter of the wall. So Jake, if you come in. Now you see these thicknesses are not the same. Okay. Now I have a pair of calipers here. Right. Now this big large one, right, is three sixteenths of an inch. 
thickness of a wall. That is actually too thick. Now you think this is you think I'm splitting hairs here, but this is really a big deal. The surface area that you're going to be doing to saw all depends on the thickness of these walls. Most of the times when I see someone, they're not able to do fire saw correctly who've never done it. They've chosen bamboo that's too thick. Okay? So here's another one. This one is more than three sixteenths of an inch. Okay? You don't want that one. We want one that's one eighth of an inch. I know it's I know it's upside down, but you want one eighth of an inch in wall thickness. Okay. So those four things are key. Straightness is also nice. Straightness. Okay, not all bamboo is totally straight, but if you can get it really straight, that's that's in your favor. So no splits. Nodes eight inches apart. Okay. Uh, what was the other one? Well, uh, the thickness has to be one eighth of an inch. Don't go thicker than that. Okay. And uh, that's good. There's that's four. So um, what I want you to do when you get these home, this this is the one. No, that's not it. All right. So on this one, the nodes are too close apart, okay? And it's too thick. In this one, they're perfectly far apart, but it's still too thick. So that's a reject as well. Now this one, okay? And here's what I want you to do. One good clean section, right? It's going to be our center all right now i want you to go halfway past this node to the next node there's a node here and you're going to cut with your saw very gently here okay and on the other side of this node here you're going to cut here all right can you see so you have your middle section with no node, right? And then halfway to the next node, you're gonna cut. And then halfway to the next node here, you're gonna cut. With your saw, okay? Now go slow and be careful. You do not wanna split the tube, okay? You wanna keep this intact. If you press too hard, if you go on an angle, you could end up splitting this. Do not let it split, okay? All right, and uh, so you, when we start next week, when we go live, you're gonna have this section ready to go. One whole piece with the two nodes in the, near the center, okay? That's next week. So what are we doing now? I'm testing two kits. This is a mouth drill kit with two different kinds of uh, pressure mouth braces. These are made out of poplar, as you can see, popless. All right. Uh, do that in a second. What do I need? I'm missing. So this is a brand new set, never used. Okay. It is, uh, common names are Cottonwood, Aspen, Poplar, but it's all, I call that cap, but it's all Poplar, okay? This entire set is made out of Poplar. The uh, spindle, the Malcho spindle is Poplar. It's five-eighths of an inch in diameter. There's a reload in here that is Poplar. And it's five eighths of an inch. Okay. And the pressure mouth braces are made out of poplar. It's all poplar. This bamboo tube uh, contains more reloads for the kit. So the reloads go in there. There's a poplar cap which twists on, 
holds everything inside. Now the uh, this is one of those bento box style sets, and uh, if the reload was not on here, this would just fit inside and lay inside. Okay, I do need a paper towel. Hold on one second. Here. So you take the paper towel, and here's the thing about mouth drill, your mouth is open and uh, it's pointed downward, which means that saliva just falls out with your mouth open. There's nothing you can do about it, okay? So what you do is you, with your pressure mouth brace, you're going to cover that with a paper towel. And this is, this not only keeps everything hygienic, it catches your saliva, okay? So now this is a bite plate. Like that. And then there's this one, okay? And again, take the paper towel that goes over, okay? And this one, you can bite with your back teeth. This one, your cheeks... <laughs> actually prevent it from going farther while you bite on it so it doesn't go anywhere this one is actually my favorite because um, this could just be a split branch so if you get a really thick branch and you split it down the center and you just cut it five, five inches and you put a hole in it this is your pressure mouth brace it's very convenient so we're gonna test this kit. Put a little dirt in here to raise the floor. Okay, this has never been used, this set. And I'm gonna start warming it up. Now I can't talk with this thing in my mouth, so we're just gonna just keep going. So I'm gonna do the mating and warm up process. I'm gonna start filling the notch and gonna get it ignited. Okay, here we go. All right, let's have a look. Oop, almost. Let me just get that button out of there. Just gotta keep going. I'll get to that in a minute. <coughs> I'll test that in a minute. Meanwhile, I'm going to move to the bow drill. This set is made entirely out of pine. Okay, it's a bento box set, and uh, the spindles are made out of pine. Okay, the pressure hand brace. Is made out of pine. So, let's 
So I'm going to pull this one out. You can see the set's never been used. I have to start working on it again. That's my problem. This bow, however, is made out of eastern red cedar, which is actually a juniper. Okay. So the set's never been used. Testing it for the first time. The string might stretch on me. Let's see. in there. go. That's your pine set. Entirely a pine. This is also going to come with... All right, so I'm going to dump this coal. Okay. The spindle is going to go back. That's your hand brace. It's going to go back. The bow slips under here. That. So that's all together. And these extra spindles, they can go there. And that's one set made entirely of pine, except for the bow. And uh, here's one of the things that I always hated about friction fire sets is that it's just usually just a whole bunch of pieces that you can never keep together. But with uh, these kits, it's just one, one kit kept all together and nice and neat. And usually fits in a cylinder. All right, I'm going to work on the Maltro later. I'm just going to say I didn't get it right now. It's okay. I need the practice. Never stop practicing. And not, never be afraid to fail. Never be afraid. Otherwise you'll never learn anything and you'll never get anything done. That's worth doing. All right? But the key thing uh, is I want to have everyone ready for next week. Okay? So have your section of bamboo ready. And... Uh, we're just going to go from start to finish, getting it done. All right. Um, email me with any questions or comments or stuff like that. All right. All right. Let's keep going.